Hi, good morning. Happy Saturday, everybody. Um, thanks for checking this out. I have a couple of decks here that I ordered from a seller in France who has some very nice reproductions of some old um, Tarot de Marseille decks. And I was seeing them online on like eBay going for $200 a pop. And I thought, well, that's just ridiculous. Um, so I managed to track down the seller in France. And um, the decks are still in print. And so there is no reason for anybody to pay those kind of crazy prices just because somebody wants to charge them. Um, one of these decks, I'm hoping they've sent me the right ones. I haven't, I have no idea yet. Um, I had actually seen on uh, the Hermit's Cave. It was a, a deck that was gifted to Simon by someone, and I loved the backs so much that I was roaming around the internet trying to find it, and lo and behold, it was this seller that has them. So um, let's go ahead and cut in and. and of course, obliterated my address and whatnot there, but um, let's let's see what they've sent me. Now I sent, I ordered these, I think, the 10th of March, and they arrived two days ago. So that would have been the 21st. So that's you know pretty good coming from Europe. Um, I am still waiting on a deck from a seller, an eBay seller who is ostensibly in Illinois. It's finally scheduled to arrive today, but it was ordered two days before these were. So, yay. Looks like the right ones. Anyway, I'm just, I'm really impressed with the service from these people. I didn't get tracking information from them, um, but they apparently dispatched these very quickly. Um, and, no problem you know, with customs or anything like that, but um, I don't think. Nothing to indicate on the, the wrapper that customs dug into these. So yeah, this is the one I really, really wanted. Um, I noticed somebody in the comments trying to find out from Simon um, what this deck was, and he just was not, uh, I think he just wasn't understanding which deck she was talking about, but this. It's the Tarot de Marseille. Um, Marsili Ficin, Marsilio Ficino, I think is the name. Um, but this is a restored deck. Yeah, Marsili Ficini Fiorentini. Now this is just just the majors, which is fine. Um, but the, one of the main reasons I want it was because I so loved the backs on these, which are just beautiful. It's like a cosmic, like um, you know, solar system kind of thing. Um, these are really, really nice. The, the card stock is very good. Um, so let's take a look at this lovely new treasure. These are just gorgeous. The colors on these are so nice. The, this is like a really dark green and blue, and red and yellow. So it's kind of the primary colors, but they're richer, much richer. And these fabulous backs. Okay, so we're not in order, but that's okay. We'll get through them. My death card. Chariot. These are lovers. These are really heavy. I mean, well, not heavy, but I mean, very good quality cardstock. I'd say it's at least 350 GSM. Very nice. 
and I will put the link to the seller down below in case anybody else is interested in getting it. I think this one was 16 euros, so whatever that translates to in U.S. dollars, I, I forget now. Um, you know, there's of course shipping from France that you have to pay, but um, it it was a heck of a lot cheaper than $200 for the decks that I was seeing on eBay. So yeah, and this one I've never even even seen it until Simon had had it on his channel. But if you're a Tarot de Marseille fan, this is definitely one to get. This is gorgeous. I mean, that moon, the face on it. The old style devils. And Justice is eight. High Priestess. High Priest. And a Hierophant. There's our lovely fool. No, we didn't get two fools, did we? No. <laughs> that was the Magician first. Okay, never mind. The Maison Dieu, the House of God, or the Lightning Struck Tower. The judgment. The Empress. Come on. There's our gorgeous Hermit, a beautiful blue robe. Oops. This is so weird doing this backwards. And our hanged man showed up upside down. So, okay. And a star. I've just recently taken a much greater interest in these old cards and I picked up a book I think by Mary Greer on reading. Is it Mary Greer? I'll have to check. It might have been Caitlin Matthews on reading these old style decks. Strength. Interesting, the, uh, the title is way over on the, the left of the card. Sun. The world. And the wheel. I think that's all of them, but since they were out of order, I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Magician. back in order real quick here just to make sure everybody's here. I love the way they feel. They're, it's really, the, the backs are so smooth. They're just, it's really, really nice cardstock. It's always interesting to try to put them back together like this. And sun, star. Judgment. Okay, let's see if we manage to get them all back together here. Ah! So I drop my brand new card on the floor. Oh, 
Okay, so we got the Fool, Magician, Priestess, Empress, oops. Hmm. Yep, oh, there he is. Emperor. Okay, Hierophant, Lovers, Chariot, Justice, Hermit, No Fortune, Strength, Hangman, Death. Oh, Temperance. Did I show the Temperance card? That's really nice. And they're they're really good size too. Devil, Tower, Star, Moon, Sun. Judgment and World. Okay. So, yep. And in addition to coming in this very heavy box, and yeah, Simon wasn't kidding. This really is a very sturdy box. And it's beautiful blue. Although the writing on the back is in French, but that's okay. Sort of try to decipher it a little at a time, I guess. But it's nice that they also put it in this little bag. It's like, um, you know, like polyester, almost like parachute kind of stuff. But so yeah, that's a that's a beauty. Let me measure it real quick. So the cards are about five and a half, so very tall by three or just under three inches. But they just, oh, they feel beautiful. They're so nice. I'll set those back aside for now. Like I said, I will put the, the address of the seller down in the, the description below. Whoops, wrong way. Oh, wow, yeah, that, that is definitely like an heirloom deck. That is gorgeous. And then the second one I got from them. Not sure what all these lines are all over the place. Hmm. It's the tarot. Pierre Madani, 1709. Okay, got like uh, an extra card here. Oh, uh, bonjour, here are your tarots. Enjoy best eaves, the, the seller. So that's sweet, that's very nice. Oh yeah, very exciting. Another absolutely fabulous little box. Boy, these are really sturdy. I mean, very heavy. I don't know if you can see how thick that is. Very nice. We got a couple of oh, a couple of spare cards. Oh, oh, okay. So these are numbered. I have three oh seven of a thousand. So they are, I guess, limited then, which I did not realize. Uh, back has the two of coins. Oh, that's right. They come in these wonderful little papers. I forgot about that. Uh, let's see. Made by Pierre Medini. Hmm. Cartier Ordinaire de Monseigneur le Duc. Oh. Province of Burgundy, is that? Bourgogne? Sorry, my French is terrible. But yeah, it's just wrapped in this nice little, like, parchment paper or something. That's lovely. I mean, really, really nice packaging. Very impressive. So these are... Not quite there. Uh, the, the cardstock is little, um, the coloring is like off white. It's more like a, uh, it's even a little darker than what eggshell would be. Uh, these are much smaller. There's the backs. 
more traditional back. And these measure. Let's see. Can't do that. So they're just a little bit shorter. They're like four and three quarters. By two and a half, so it's it's more like a standard neck, and these are all you know square corners. They're not rounded, so we don't have to go through the whole deck. But if you like these Marseille decks, this is a nice one. The features are really cleaned up and well drawn. Some of the older ones um, that I have are. It's like photographs of the existing decks that are in actually pretty poor states and a lot of the features have just kind of flaked off with time and so you can't really make them out. So these are reproductions. I guess they cleaned them up a little bit. And this one appears to be all in order. That's very nice. Well, this was a good choice. I'm really eager to start learning more about reading with these. Um, and not that I've lost interest in the Rider Waite Smith system, um, but just, you know, adds another layer and more interest. So Justice is eight in this one. I like this. Uh, it's kind of a bluish. I don't know if it looks black on camera, but it's it's got a little bit of a bluish tinge to it. And death has a number but no name, which is typical. I've just I've been going through this thing lately where I'm just kind of losing interest a little bit in some of the the newer more modern decks they I mean it's always interesting to see other artists interpretations of cards but some of them stray so far from um, oops oh yeah okay I don't know, I, they, they just kind of lose me when they get too modern or too, you know, far afield with their, their take on it or their interpretations of some of the cards. And, um, you know, I mean, if that's your thing, that's great, but... And I, I do kind of go through phases where I like something more traditional for a while and all of a sudden I'll see a new deck that's just really wonderful and I just really connect with it immediately so you know it, it can vary from day to day but as I'm sure it does for a lot of people we don't have to go through all the miners because these are just all going to be pips but pardon my sniffles I think my allergies have already started let's see let's look at some of that Court cards, maybe. And look at the Ace of Wands.
of swords. And all the swords and these old decks are curved like this, so it's easy to tell them apart from the wands. Yeah, they really have some beautiful coloring on these. Very, very nice. I real I highly recommend the seller. Um, it's I honestly I can't remember the name <laughs> off the top of my head. So like I said, it's French, and my French is really bad. Um, but I will be sure to put it down below. Let's see if they say anything here. Uh, let's, let's see if you can see it. It's on the bottom of the card here. If I focus that close. So it's tarot-d-marseille-heritage.com or tarot-d-marseille-millennium.com tarot And like I said, I will put that, those links down in the bottom underneath in the description. So if you wanted to check out what they have, um, but yeah, I think, you know, as finances allow, I'm going to treat myself to a couple of more of the, their decks because these are just gorgeous. And I really think they're going to become very sought after. And, you know, tarot decks come and go and they don't always stay available. So I like to get them while they are available. I don't know if I'm going to keep it wrapped in this paper or not. Yeah, so okay. the Madani, which I like very, very much. Really, really pleased with this. And this one is just phenomenal, just gorgeous. Really eager to learn to, to read with these. So, yeah, that's they've been sitting here waiting for me for a couple of days and finally had time to get to them. and. Hope you enjoyed that. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Or I think most of you guys know how to get a hold of me anyway. So uh, feel free and uh, have a great weekend and we'll talk to you later.